Hello guys and welcome back to the Media Nights. My name is Ari. And I'm Denise. And today we're going to be watching Godzilla. This is the movie that came out in 1998 and I'm very excited to watch this actually. Before we even started the channel, I was going on a bit of a binge with the original Godzilla movie. So I watched the original Gojira film that came out in 1954. I really, really liked it. I thought that at the time, you know, the stuff that they were doing with the miniatures and whatnot was pretty impressive, honestly. And then I watched a few couple more movies. I watched the Mothra vs. Godzilla. I watched the original King Kong vs. Godzilla film and the Ghidorah, the three-headed monster. And that was around the time where we just had started the channel so eventually I kind of got sidetracked and started watching other stuff and lately I've been reading the mangas again and I kind of got that vibe of you know I want to watch the new Godzilla film see what they're all about what they have to offer so here we are very excited for this journey <laughs> and ready to go I know of the existence of <laughs> Godzilla or Gojira I'm more of a King Kong girl I'm a huge King Kong supporter so I do know that at one point those two end up versus each mm. other I know he's a really awesome badass looking monster that's really huge and he's kind of a <laughs> lizard sort of situation so I'm, I'm actually really excited to watch this one if you'd like to catch the full-length reaction that's going to be available on our patreon and if you want to watch these reactions early that's going to be available for our youtube members hit the join button guys thank you so much for watching this and we'll catch you guys after the movie oh tristar haven't seen this in a minute <gasps> damn dude that's my childhood right there I'm excited to watch a modern Godzilla film or more modern than what I'm used to. <laughs> Let's not call it older because then yes, everyone's going to come People will us. come for me and they're like, it's not an older film. It's 1998. <laughs> what do you mean it's older? All the millennials were all just like... <laughs> in denial still. <laughs> in denial. The 90s was just like 10 years ago, no? <laughs> oh, it's Roland Emmerich? No way. Oh, <laughs> I did not know that. We got some nuclear symbols, Ooh. some islands. Jean Renault. Damn, that's a cast? Okay. Is that a Komodo? Yeah, it's a Komodo oh. dragon. Damn, good job. Can, they can swim in water? Yeah, I guess so. They always seem so slow, but their bite, Dude. man, it's lethal. Dude, I have an irrational fear of Komodo dragons, okay? I don't think they it's that ir <laughs> irrational. They're pretty scary. <laughs> Don't they have like the strongest like bite or something? The strongest jaw or something? Aside from being poisonous? Or are they venomous? There was a distinction there to be made. I think yes, they're I know. venomous. Lots of lizards. Okay. So there is a relation there. It's a nuclear bomb test. <sighs> yeah. Holy shit. God damn, dude. That, that's... Major explosion right there. Is that an egg? Yep. That's very promising. Oh boy. Noodles are the best, man. You guys have no idea. She's a massive fan of noodles. If she could eat it every day for the rest of her life, she would. I would, and I would not get bored. Some young noodles, they're the best. They're super spicy and it's just so good. Oh no, something's up. That's the sonar. Oh boy, trouble is on oh, the way. That's not an alarm you want to hear when you're out in the middle of an ocean. Oh no, that's really close. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. Oh! That would have been a horrible way to go. <laughs> what in the final destination is this? Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh shit! Oh, it's going down. Was that a... Claw, right? It looked like a claw. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, that's not a good way to go. Imagine. How do you die, man? Yeah, I got slapped by a huge lizard tail, you know? As you do. As you do, yeah. Ooh. Eggs, careful there, yeah. pal. The rain probably doesn't help with that. Come on with the rain. I don't know how I feel about the whole worm situation. Just grabbing them like with your bare hand like that.
Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, he's definitely in trouble. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I have a permit. Dr. Nico Topopopoulos. It's the Topolis. Kyle Tarrington. I'm with <laughs> Topopopoulos. You're being reassigned. But my work here isn't finished. It is now. We need your help with something. Also, that government agent guy is always playing a government agent yes. guy. Yes, <laughs> wasn't he in Transformers as <laughs> yes, well? Yes, he yeah, was. Right? <laughs> I, I always he... see him in the same role. Yeah, I know. Is that oh. a Geiger counter? He's radioactive. He's traumatized, the poor man. What did you see, old man? Gojira. 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 Yeah. You guys have no idea what's coming. <laughs> He's like, Gaji who? <laughs> what I'm doing what's here? Step? No hey, it's Sam Witwicky's dad. Speaking of Transformers. Sam Wilkaki. Sam Wilkiki. <laughs> the radioactive contamination in that area has mutated the earthworm's DNA. Mm. Has it now? It means that because of a man-made accident, the Chernobyl earthworms are now 17% larger than they were before. Sounds like exposition. Yes, yeah, sounds like that's going to be relevant. Here's your sample. Study it. What sample? You're standing in it. Oh. What? No way. Is that a footprint? No. Holy cow. <laughs> yep. Yo. 70, what? 77% larger, he says? 17%. 17. 77, goddamn. It's going to shoot through the stratosphere. There's no animal in the world that makes footprints like that. There is now. Those were footprints, right? Yes, they were. Anybody see what made them? Uh, actually, no such uh, luck. Hey. Get it together, girl. Come on. We believe it's connected. By the way, Dr. Craven, have you met the worm guy? Bless you. Uh. Sorry. <clears throat> Summer cold. All of us post-pandemic are like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, they're definitely going to go try and find this thing now. Wow. Well, at least it's not hard to track. Look at the distance between each step. I know. Gives you a sense oh. of the scale. I love the buildup so far. Yeah. I love it when they make you wait for that reveal, you know? You can't see the thing fully yet. Yeah. Just tell me, did you talk with him? Yes, between you and Rodriguez. Are you serious? He's gonna consider me for the job? Oh. Why don't we talk about it over dinner tonight? Your place. Mr. Kamen, you're married. Yes, and you're very beautiful. Have I ever told you that? Oh, no. Oh, God. I'm too old to be your assistant anymore. I need to know this job is going someplace. Sure. Have dinner with me tonight. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. What a dipshit. What a creep. Oh, my God. Do you mean to tell me there's no one who holds a special place in your heart? The earthworms do. <laughs> but I think you're cute. Hey. Hey. Damn. Oh. She is forward. She is definitely forward. I can respect that. Damn, look at the claw marks. It ripped that thing apart. Holy crap. Just look at the scale of it. <laughs> Jeez. You guys are so screwed. La Rochelle Casualty and Property Insurance. We're preparing a report. Hmm. Colonel, what do you think could have done this? Listen, Mr. Roach, you get your people out of here or I will. Hmm. Are they like a secret agency or something? I think so. There's no way they're just insurance people. Yeah, that no way. With that ominous no. look in his eyes, there's no way he's just insurance. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely some sort of agency. <laughs> See guys, you're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. What the hell is that dope head doing? Hell's wrong! Why are we slowing down? I don't know. She's at full throttle. Maybe she's heavy in the net. No, something is uh pulling you guys back. Or they caught something really huge. <laughs> we must be caught something! Bring in the nets! Bring them yeah. up! Pull them in now! What's going on? Oh boy. Maybe the engines are heating up. Should I shut them down? Yes, shut him down. Oh, 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 oh. oh it's oh. pulling them back now. Yep. Oh, crap. All three of them? 
<laughs> oh, careful! Ah. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Oh, wow, it's sinking them already. Damn, it's pulling them down with him. Oh, guys, 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 get out of there. I mean, they're still in open water, though. That's not an ideal situation. No, definitely not. The middle of a storm as well. <sighs> you hear that? Just hear it <laughs> groaning in the distance. Yo! Oh. We're looking at a completely incipient creature. The dawn of a new species. The first of its kind. Whoa. <laughs> yep, man had a hand in that. My life sucks. Your life doesn't suck. His life sucks. I'm married to you. <laughs> Jesus! Poetry. You're too damn nice. Yeah, I'm getting that vibe too. You gotta be a killer to get ahead. I'm sorry, baby, but you just don't got what it takes. Oh, come on. That's not nice. Pretty much. You're a nice person, you know? Nice guys finish last. Well, I can be tough if I want. Oh. <laughs> like, I can be tough, too. Okay? <laughs> oh, my God. It's Nick. Who is he? He was my college sweetie. Aww. Aww. <laughs> gotcha. So there is history there. Yeah. You never know. Today could be my lucky day. I hope so. <laughs> Don't you make fun of that man. You go apologize right now. Look at him. Oh boy. Hey! No way. <laughs> I, I gotta fight! <laughs> no! You're not gonna kill this sweet old man, are you? Do I have a bite? Is he gonna catch like the biggest <laughs> fish there is? Well, fish. <laughs> fish. You got a big one, baby. Hold on to it now. You want to fight? That's not what you think it is. Oh. oh. Yo. Yeah, I see that. I'm running in the opposite <laughs> yes. direction. Don't freeze, please. This is the time to run. Oh my god. He's gonna die. This poor man is gonna wow. die. Please run. Ooh. <sighs> run, man. Run, run. You got this. Please. <sighs> oh, it's here. Can we talk about that shot, though? That was awesome. Oh. 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 Oh, that is sick. Oh my god. Oh, yo. We're just getting bits and pieces of him. That's how I big know. he is. Oh, it's amazing. I love that. Ah. Man. <laughs> really? He didn't hear the footsteps? Didn't feel like the. Oh, oh, oh. He didn't feel the vibration? I guess he did not. Oh. Yikes. What a day at work, huh? What I did! <laughs> you guys are in oh. for a ride there in Fight Eye. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's great, though. I love that. Imagine. Like, all of the cars are shaking with each footstep. Dude. Oh. oh, dude. Hey, nice shot. I see the reference. I see I what you're doing. <laughs> nice. Oh. Ah. I am grateful for the fact that we're getting a new set. I know that represents. Yeah, he has no regards for the humans <laughs> down there. He's stepping on everybody. <laughs> He's got more important lizard stuff to do. Yes. He's on a mission. Rain, again. I love that there's Barney in the background. <laughs> I grew up on Barney, actually. Still watch it as a kid. I still watch some too as a kid. I think your story just walked by the Yeah, I think so too. 
<laughs> oh, come on! He missed all of it. Had <sighs> another parade. I don't think that's a parade. Yeah. <laughs> no worries, it's just a New York City mouse. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> dude. Jeez. How do you even begin to process that if you see this? And it's like in the middle of the city too, like the thing that you expect to see the least. Yeah. I gotta say the, the scale of the set seems pretty dope. I mean, yeah. it looks like the real city. I don't know if they shot on location and closed off some streets or mm. this is like a massive New York City set. That is actually... This looks like I mean, it's New York know. City, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Dude. Get what your are you shot, doing? man! Get Come your on. shot! There you go. Okay, get your get your shot and I'll get out of the way. Best found footage film ever. Dude! No. Oh. oh. In between? He survived? Holy crap, did he shit his pants? Oh, man. Talk about a close call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's facts. <laughs> that's such a great acting moment. I love that. You know what this made me want? A found footage Godzilla film. I want to see that. Ooh, that would be dope. I would so do that. He's in there someplace. Channel 12, quarter on tape. Why is he going to... Hide fucking Central Park, <laughs> like <laughs> not a bad place to lay down for a while. Oh, that would be such a nightmare for New York traffic. Imagine uh, that's yeah. it, you're stuck there all day. Yeah, like it already sucks. <laughs> this will just make it <laughs> 10 times worse. Managers of the stores along pricey Fifth and Madison Avenue. The Warner Brothers. Wow, they're just flying through the streets like that. That's <gasps> oh. Grand Central. Yeah, so much for the MetLife building. Didn't we agree that we weren't <laughs> going to have any sweets until after the election? It's Hershey's Kisses, man. They're so <laughs> yummy. You can't stop. Once you start, you're done. Trust me, I know. Also, that Lincoln Tunnel must be a nightmare right now. Oh, dude. No, listen. <laughs> Four hours just to get to Jersey. Bro. Freaking Lincoln Tunnel, man. They got their whole setup in there. You call this coffee? I call this America. <laughs> I feel offended. Come what does on. that mean? We have some pretty good coffee, especially in New York. Deli coffee is great. We cannot give the all clear until each and every one of these buildings has been checked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're difficult than we originally projected. Oh, terrific. Terrific. More good news. It's always this poor guy that has to give the bad news. I, I don't know what's going on. You never know what's going on. Thank you. Oh my god. Yeah, he's pissed off. So they think he's hiding in a building. Well, that makes no sense. It's huge. How would it, would it get inside a building? There must be a massive hole somewhere. Either that or the subway, actually. Oh. Through the underground. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Underground tunnels. Indeed. Yeah. Good job. I Very mean, nice. thank you. <laughs> How many tunnels lead off the island? Only 14, sir. We've checked them all. He hasn't used any of them. Have them all sealed up. Yes, sir. How? Uh, how, 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 how would we do that? <laughs> Need a lot of manpower for that. They're going to have to do that quick, too. Yeah. Sealing all those tunnels is not light work. Jump! There you go. Uh, yep. Ah, okay. That's the bait. So what exactly is the plan here? Are there, They don't seem like they're going to capture it. Sedate him? Dude, what would you even sedate him I with? I have no idea. I was just thinking like about a, that. You would need a massive dosage. <laughs> like a shit ton of ketamine or something? I do not know. And there's a lot we do not understand about it. Like its metabolism and how it would react right. with it. Is it even going to make an effect on it? That's true. Is this going to work? You should ask the guy behind him. <laughs> I don't know, sir. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Oh. It's coming. Damn, that's a rumbling belly coming. <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> that's great. What a great shot. Holy crap, he's gonna. Oh, yep. 
Guys, you better step away from that fish pile. Uh, uh, the what hell? the fuck is that? Oh. Oof. Oh. Why is Godzilla buff though? He <laughs> is quite buff. Yeah, he's been hitting the gym. Jeez. <laughs> Wow. Ooh. Finally, a good shot of it. That's awesome. Get those shots. Let's go. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, he's going to eat you now. <laughs> wow. Yo. Can you imagine? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Boop his nose. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, is he making a friend? He doesn't Don't seem hurry. overly aggressive. No. Aww. Hold your fire, guys. Yeah, so it's not hurting people on purpose. It's just kind of doing its thing. Yeah. Wow. Oh. oh, whoops. <laughs> He's a big guy. Sorry, guys. He's like, finally, I've been waiting all day for this. Oh, Aww. Yeah, but what's the plan now, though? Fire at will. Sergeant, fire at will. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, no. That's oh, oh no, come on. Oh. oh no! The flat iron building! What the hell, guys? That's why it's been in scaffolding all this time. <laughs> Yo, Fax. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! Wait, what? Oh. He can breathe fire! That is so sick! That is so cool. All systems are Echo 4 R. Oh, that is a sick shot. That's a great shot. Pretty good CGI, not gonna lie. For the time? Yeah. Pretty solid. Echo, one, three, four, fire at will. Fire side. Ooh. <laughs> Using the buildings as steps. Guys. Guys. Really? I... Why does every movie have such a hard on for destroying, like, New, <laughs> New York, York City? City and, These like, important have monuments? The worst aim ever. I mean, come on, just think about the collateral collateral damage. Right! Let's do some damage control here. I don't know, go to Staten Island or something. <laughs> or Jersey. No shade, Staten Island. We love nice. you guys. We love Staten Island and Jersey. So the destroyed Grand Central, the Chrysler building. The MetLife building. The MetLife building. All that's left now is the um, Statue of Liberty. Can't even tell if you're shooting at it or not. I didn't I just, see anything. I think we got him. Did you though? Oh, from behind. Oh. Uh. <sighs> yep. Damn. Gone. Ooh. Ah. I mean, this sequence does look- looks pretty dope. It looks lie. really sick. But being in a copter and all, you would think- Yeah. <laughs> we've, uh, we've lost Echo 4, sir. You would think that if you're in a copter, you would try to get some altitude if something is chasing you. Chasing you. <laughs> That's pretty damn epic. <laughs> nice. So is he not gonna climb the Empire State? Oh, wait. That's, That's a different the other one. guy. That's the other guy. Yeah. Do you have any at-home pregnancy tests or clomiphene citrate? No, this. She is gonna. Oh my god. Wow, you must have quite some harem. Oh. It's good to see you, Nick. So you made it. You're a reporter, huh? Oh. I'm. I'm happy for you. Really. Aww. I am. Aww. He's such a nice guy. Yeah. He seems so sweet. You're still mad at me? You left without a phone call, a letter, nothing. Yeah, I guess I am still a little mad. I mean, I don't blame yeah, you, man. Yeah, you should be mad. So 
some people change. Most people don't. I'm sorry you feel that way. That was a lame ass apology. You're right. Eight years is a long time. <laughs> no, it's not. Can make you a cup of tea. Sure. That'd be nice. Come on, man. I love how she's the one getting mad at him. Like, why are you mad yeah. at me, man? It was so long ago. How dare you hold me accountable for my shitty actions? <laughs> He's pregnant. Oh. No shit. It's pregnant. Doesn't he need a mate? Not if he reproduces asexually. Exactly. Whoa. That's what he's doing in New York. He's nesting. Oh, boy. Aww. Do you realize that a lizard can lay up to 12 eggs at a time? <laughs> 12 uh. Godzillas running around in New York City? Yeah. Oh, baby Godzillas are probably really cute, though. She seems like she knows that that was a mistake, you know, to leave him, so. Yeah. Oh, she's going to be working on her own story. Yeah. Her first official report. She's going to betray his trust again, isn't she? Do the right thing. At least tell him. <gasps> she's ghosting him again. Bro, <gasps> if these two end up together at the end of this movie, I'm I'm protesting. Well, we have to see her arc. Let's see what she does with it. It's like people can change, man. <laughs> Proceeds to do. <laughs> Proceeds to do the exact same thing all Just over again. Just break his trust and ghost him. Anything. Nah, nothing down here. Nothing at all. Oh, oh you gotta be kidding. Oh, that's so creepy. That's awesome. Hold on a second, all right? I've got exclusive footage of other places this thing has attacked. Whose story is that? Mine. Yep, she's ready to get the promotion. <sighs> Last time you didn't even scratch it. That's not true. Our worm guy, I mean, Dr. Tatopoulos here is fine. <laughs> Warm guy. <laughs> that the creature is either about to lay eggs or already has. Yeah. Then how can it be pregnant? What is this, the virgin lizard? <laughs> <laughs> Up to a dozen are going to be born. Each one capable of laying eggs on oh, its own. Man. Oh my god. They will just keep on multiplying. The fish that we found on the subway. He's not collecting all this food just for himself. Oh, he's bringing <gasps> it back. He's going to feed them with it. Nick's come through for us before, and if he feels strongly about Come through for you? Mm -hmm. Colonel, your campaign's a disaster. You weren't even able to keep this thing from coming to Manhattan. What the hell is he supposed to do? I'm sorry, I don't see you coming up with any genius ideas. Manhattan's newest unwanted pest. Oh, he's so screwed. Good job. They're gonna they're gonna get him for breach of confidential information. <laughs> These sailors called him in song, a mythological sea dragon who filled their hearts Wait. with fear. Oh my god! That's not her. <laughs> That's karma, bitch. Sorry. You gave them the tape? No, I didn't no, I didn't give them the tape. <laughs> what a bad look. Oh my god, she took it. You're officially off this project as of now. She just keeps making his life miserable, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm like... I don't know how I feel about her character. No, there's no redeeming that. Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry about all this. She's the one, man. Look no further. Yeah. Make sure that Hicks finds that nest before it's too late. I'll try. Aww. Yeah, she seems yeah. like she actually cares for you. Don't you dare get back with your ex. Are they going to argue in the rain? Please tell me they're going to argue in the rain. It's so cheesy I sometimes. I really need that to happen right now. <laughs> You're leaving? Yeah! <laughs> well, what did you think was going to happen? You never said it was off the record. I shouldn't have to, Audrey. What the yeah. hell? I trusted you. I really don't like her, like at all. I was so sure I'd make it, but I haven't. That's why I needed the story so bad. I just couldn't tell you I'm a failure. I know they're trying to make her relatable. It's just not. Like I get that that sucks. And you thought that made it okay to steal my tapes? No. Exactly. Thank you. It's like good luck with your new career. Ooh. I really think you have what it takes. Yes. Good job. Good for you, man. Whoever wrote this really did not like her at all. <laughs> like. I see that there's some really good qualities within her. Like, she's supposed to be the super nice person. She just keeps screwing the same guy over and over again. Yeah. And it's like, come on. Uh, uh, excuse me, is this the best way to the airport? Oh. Oh. <gasps> is he getting kidnapped? Hey. Hello. Oh. 
Ho! Yep. Oh, shit. All right, now let me out of here. I'm afraid oh. I can't do that. Hey, I know you, don't I? You're the insurance guy. <laughs> Friend secret service. Ah, there you go. You hijack me and you expect me to trust you? Yes. And why should I do that? Because you are the only one who wants to find the nest as much as I do. Okay. Allegiances, I like it. So they're the good guys as well. Trying to find the nest because they know that's the ultimate danger. I mean, 12 yeah. of these things running around. So you're in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in. Très bien. <laughs> 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 I mean, you might as well put your skills to, to some use, you yeah. know? Yeah. I think that you should be the one that lets the whole world know that this guy was right all along, don't you? Oh, let the mm. world know he was the one responsible for saving the city? Yeah. You know, I've already made such a mess of everything. Yeah, you really did, Audrey. Listen, I'm going after him. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he said that. I love that. That's a true friend, though. They'll call you out on your shit. I mean, it, may, it won't make things right, but at least it's a start. Yes. Who you boys with? Uh, we're with the three two, sir. I didn't ask you, soldier. <laughs> That's working. <laughs> well, no, sir, I'm fine. Hey. Okay. Convincing enough. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Elvis Presley movies. I'm dead. Oh, I he learned like this guy. <laughs> I learned English watching Harry Potter movies. So like. Well, how are we doing? So, so far, so good. We're, uh, we're good. We're, we're good. <laughs> this poor guy. I can't bear to watch him deliver one more piece of bad news. I love his performance. He's so nervous. <laughs> yes. Throughout the entire film, he's been just miserable. It's... Whoops. Oh, Bro. Well, there goes your stealth. They're near, yep. What? There's no way you didn't hear that. <laughs> what do you mean, what? He's like, huh? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I move. Yep, time to run. I mean, if you think about it, the whole thing could just collapse on them and they could be trapped down there. That's true. Damn, I didn't even think about that. Oh. Dude, now's not the time. You got lucky once. He's uh. doing everything to get those shots. I guess we go this way. Well, the nest is not protected anymore. We can just mm. try to track it down. He has laid his eggs already. If he hasn't, then at least they can prep the nest with some explosives or something. Here we go, combat! That's such a cool shot, though. That is awesome. They're lucky it's not getting extremely aggressive. Yeah. Now that it knows those things can hurt him. Seems more curious than anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is just like, I'm out of here. <laughs> I quit. I feel like it remembers, no? Oh, you think? He's not going to fall for it anymore. Yeah. Damn it. Fire. Fire. Wow. It remembered. He's like, no, last time I did this. <laughs> Yeah. I got hurt. Y'all screwed me over. Wow. It's intelligent. Yeah. You have to remember. That, wow, that's awesome. Oh. <sighs> oh. Oh, right in the water. Okay. Well, maybe he'll leave now. Don't worry, the Navy has a little something they're waiting for. The Navy has a what? What do they have? You got the subs. All stations report man for battle stations. Are we locked on? Aye, aye, sir. Locked on, Captain. He's not going to be able to catch a break. No. Ooh, Ooh. Close miss. Good swimmer, too. Fire number one. 
Ooh. Ooh. Dodge two of them already. Yeah. Sir, the target's heading right at us. No, no way. It's that smart. Stand by for impact. Ah, uh, you guys are oh, you so guys are screwed. Done. Four, three, two, one. Oh. Uh. Ow. Get back in eight seconds. It's going underground again. Yeah. Oh. Oh my God. Direct hit. Yeah! Congratulations, sir. It's fine. They needed a moral win. I don't think that worked. Not at all. <laughs> I actually feel bad for him. MSG? Did he bring the whole arena down? Jeez. Is that an egg? Oh. Oh, he oh did. Oh my god, they're huge. Holy crap! He did end up laying them. Three eggs. I thought there'd be more. And you were right. Oh, oh no! But how many did he lay? About a dozen. Oh my. I feel like that's more than... There's gotta be more than 20 eggs here. 20? Oh, way more. Ugh, that's a nightmare. You guys gotta get rid of those quickly. Oh, Guys, that's great. That's a great oh, reveal. Yeah. Stop counting. Oh, he was pregnant, pregnant. <laughs> Holy shoot. <laughs> it's insane how tame he's been knowing that he was about to lay those eggs. He probably should have been a bit more aggressive against the people hurting him. Yeah, because like I know that female animals get like really really aggressive yes. when you get close to their and super babies. overprotective yeah oh don't uh, tell me wait it's moving in there don't get so close what if it hatches oh no way it's hatching Oh my god. Aww. Hmm? It's baby Zilla. Oh, oh my god, no. but all of them at the same time? You guys gotta get the hell out of there. You think baby Godzilla number one just imprinted on him? You think that's a thing with Godzilla? Don't you think we have enough already? I just won't. Huh. Just... Oh shit. Uh -huh. Um. Um. We should, uh, let's... Uh, yeah, it's probably best to start heading out. Start. Don't... Yeah. <laughs> that looks like an anim animatronic. Oh, no. I think we should leave now. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> that's a pretty awesome animatronic. <laughs> oh, Godzilla better not hear his babies in distress. Oh, yeah. Godzilla's not going to be happy. <laughs> oh, shit. Good job. Okay. Yeah, they're babies, so they're, they are way more irritable. Like, they just got here. They just made their debut <laughs> on planet Earth. Whoa! The, this is where the next like get showered and everything. <laughs> Priorities. Yes. He's still a sports guy, first and foremost. Contact the military and get them to send a bomber to blow up this building. Tell them it's a cold dragonfly. Cold dragonfly? We secured the doors on the upper levels. Where is Jean-Philippe and Jean-Pierre? They didn't make it. Jean-Philippe and Jean-Pierre? Those are the names. <laughs> couldn't find any more French names <laughs> to add to the list. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> some of the writing is questionable. <laughs> Their sound design is dope. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, he did. Ah, uh, first casualty. Who was that, Jean Paul? Jean Luc, c'est moi. Jean Luc. Jean Pierre. It's still okay. What if that's like their code names, maybe, because they're Secret Service? Could be. That's a great way to explain that. <laughs> Oh, they're gonna fight amongst each other? Oh, you think so? Yeah, they're gonna fight over their food. It's like, I'm the oldest, I get this one. You gotta be kidding. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's funny. They're just like mid munch, like. No? Huh? <laughs> oh, there they are. Get the tape. Ah! No. Fuck. Please don't die. Please don't die. I actually like this guy. Ah! Run. Please run. Run faster. <laughs> okay. Oof. Nice. All right. Ooh. That'll buy you some time. Oh, damn. All right, we'll go live, huh? Audrey, we'll broadcast right from in here. I'll try to get a message through. Yeah, they got to bomb this place. Yeah. Send an airstrike or something. All right, Ed. Come on, huh? <gasps> yeah. Oh. They're going to be all over the city if we don't stop them. They need to seal it up. That was a lot. That's so many That's like of them. 150 oh. freaking lizards. We're live inside Madison Square Garden where Dr. Nico Totopoulos has discovered the beast's lair. Doctor, can you please tell us what's happening here? Well, let's go. We've discovered over 200 eggs. Go get Hicks. Get Hicks! Which a few moments ago began hatching. I was 50 off. It's 200. <laughs> Each one of these amazing reptiles are born pregnant. They're already- Excuse me? 200 could become 40,000 within a year? They have to destroy this building immediately. So I guess your theory of the creature nesting turned out to be correct after all. Hey, make it right. Reporting live from Madison Square Garden, this is Audrey Timmons for WIDF News. Good job. That was great. I still don't think you guys should end up together. No. Just saying. I'm just looking out for my guy. Are you okay? Yeah. Go Blockbuster. Oh, man. The good old days. <laughs> You could tell this movie they had budget for those sets, yeah, man. Yeah, look at this. Ah! Not this way. Not that way. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> Make him slip. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> You can still see the wonder, the wonder in his eyes. Like yeah. he's like, wow, this is insane. Like it's so sad. I don't want them to die. They they just got here. Oh you gotta be shitting me. It's right there. Oh god. They're all right in front of the exit. Uh, let's go, guys. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. All right, all right, all right. Shut the door. Oh, smart. I was oh. gonna say, how the hell are you gonna close it? Boom! Woo -hoo -hoo. Ho -ho. Oof. And that's it. They cleaned up. Somehow I never thought your life was this exciting. You'd be surprised. <laughs> I'd like to find out. No. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. No, don't do it. I was gonna say it's still alive. Oh, y'all are done now. Papa's gonna Gojira's be pissed. Gojira's gonna be mad. I don't want to be here for this. He's so mad. Yeah, you guys are done. He's gonna be mad now, like mad, mad. Aww. 
humans suck, dude. I kind of feel bad for No, them. Don't do that's this. so sad. Why stab us in the heart that way? I don't know. He looks angry. Yeah, yeah. No shit. You guys, never mind. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Come on. All right. Nice. Good landing. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, that's oh. way too close. Guys. Aye. Too close for comfort, man. Is everybody okay? Is everybody all right? Turn around. What? No, Godzilla's heartbroken, man. No. He just lost all of his children. And now he's just face planted. Oh, that's odd to put him in a worse mood. <laughs> that postpartum be hitting hard, man. <laughs> I'm glad he's been making it through all this ordeal. Oh. Ho -ho. <laughs> Ah, that's so oh, cool. So it's not him shooting stuff out of his mouth. It looks like it's the roar and the sheer force is pushing the explosions in their direction. Of each of its caps radio frequencies. Oh, that's so smart. So they can get in touch with him? Listen to me. You guys have got to lure him out into the open so we can get a clear shot at him. Over. Oh, man. Where's the nearest suspension bridge? Uh, uh, Brooklyn. Uh, Brooklyn. Let's go. Brooklyn Bridge, Manhattan Bridge. <laughs> I mean, high beams are pretty intolerable, to be fair. He's headed toward the Brooklyn Bridge. Target is heading toward the Brooklyn Bridge, sir. Direct the F-18s to the Brooklyn Bridge. I oh. swear, it's monument after monument. <laughs> <laughs> they, the, the writers of this, they had a checklist of all the landmarks, <laughs> and they were like, yeah, we're going to destroy this one, and this one, and this one, and maybe that one. Maybe yeah. we get to the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> yeah, get your revenge, Godzilla. <laughs> I'm with him, man. <laughs> Right down the gullet. Yeah, just... Mm. Oh, ah. smart. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, boy. It never ends. Go, go, go! <laughs> oh, that's a nice shot, actually. That is just a pretty sick the shot, yeah. Feet. Yo, look at that. Oh. That's pretty sick. Oh, oh that's smart. Was that his plan all along? Because if it I was, that's so. super smart. That's some high IQ um, move right there. Yeah. I didn't even think about the cables. Suspension bridge, of course. Oh, that's awesome! I, I gotta say, they did write him. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Ah. No. I was gonna say they wrote him in a pretty smart way. Yeah. Mm. I'm sorry, Godzy. <laughs> Godzy. <laughs> well, circle around and fire again! Oh, man. Aww. Mm. This does not feel heroic. No. Yeah, it's done. Mm. Don't do this to us, man. Come on. That's horrible. Mm. Yeah, he's dying. Oh man, that sucks. Man, humans suck. Like I said, I get why they had to kill him, but come on. You couldn't sedate him? Like, I think my theory would have worked fine. Just sedate yeah. and relocate. Jurassic Park style. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna kill him! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Romeo, do you read me? Get your independence, man. Yes. That's one hell of a job. 
I'm about to start crying. Yeah. Like, Thank God. I know. He finally got his approval. Just remember you work for me, okay? Not anymore, Chuck. I quit. Ooh, yes. Spunky. Good for you. You to still shouldn't end up with him again. Chuck was a bit of a dick, honestly. Yes. Tell your friends I will send a tape after I removed a few items from it. I just wanted to say au revoir and uh, thank you for your help, my friend. Aww. That was an awesome little partnership there that I was yeah. not expecting. I like this character. Yeah, him and his coffee. Oh no, one of them survived, didn't it? I hope so. <laughs> I'm Carry rooting for Godzilla here, you know? <laughs> Carry on your father's legacy. Destroy more monuments out there. <laughs> Well, it's a bittersweet ending. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> I have to say there's a few elements here that I liked. Some others that were a bit, you know, a bit confusing, I would say, in terms of writing. You know, the things that I really enjoyed about this film were I think the first act was the strongest. Yes. The whole, you know, keeping Godzilla in the dark and not knowing and then finding these ships like that whole sequence was really cool. That entire segment of the film was yeah. really engaging because mm -hmm. it just sucks you in in the mystery. Once the mystery was revealed, however, I feel like, you know, there was some bumps on the road here and there where mm -hmm. the characters just didn't seem very consistent. And I don't know, they were written kind of in a weird way, if that makes any sense, especially yes. Audrey. Like they, they made her sort of unlikable for a lot. And then they just kind of expect you to be like cool with her by the end. Like, yeah, yeah, sure. Like, you know, you changed <laughs> yeah. for sure. Let's just ignore even all the toxic just, behavior. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, even though you just stole the tape, I guess we're cool now. Like, I don't know. Stuff like that. Don't want to be that person, but like she strikes me as the what are we going to do character. Mm. And I find them uh, already. They're kind of annoying, but especially like when you just have that love interest character and that's literally almost all their entire purpose is to yeah. just be a damsel in distress. Well, I don't think she was a damsel you know? in distress. I just think she was a bit incompetent. You know, yeah, she, she wasn't was, really like yeah. in super mega danger all the time. Like she could still hold her own. It was just that she would put herself yeah. in those situations to begin with. You kind know, of, sort of thing. yeah, I guess. I hate when love stories get bungled this way. The whole point of writing a love story is because it, it I mean, it has to make sense, right? It has to also add like that emotional element that might be missing in your story. It also makes you root more for your lead characters, right? You want them to end up together and you want that to be a catharsis at the end of your movie. Yeah. Them getting together was not a catharsis. That was no. just me face palming and saying she's probably going to ghost him again for the third time and <laughs> yeah. that's going to be the charm. That's how I felt too. I was like, like, I don't know. I don't know if she learned her lesson. I mean, yeah, no. she was crying for an evening, but I don't know. There's some toxic behavior there yeah, that has to be uh, it's looked not at. That great. But anyway, other than her character... <laughs> Um, you know, it was interesting to see, you know, this modern take on Godzilla, very different than what I saw in the original film in 19, the 1954 Gojira film. Yeah. Uh, this was more <laughs> of a, a, I don't know, I don't know what to call it. It's really hard to describe. Like I said, there's elements that I really enjoyed. I don't want to say I quite disliked the movie, but I don't quite love it either. It, you know, yeah. the, the sets were huge. They were massive. And as we mentioned before, parts of it seemed like they were shot on location in New York City. And then they were able to mesh their sets very well. Like you couldn't tell when they were like on actual location and on a set. So I think that whole transition from a production standpoint was done very well. The sound design, the, the roar of Godzilla himself, that was also very well well done it's just the entire human element of the film where i'm a bit you know weirded out by like yeah the whole you know the military just shooting missiles left and right at godzilla and and missing right. and hitting you know these buildings our heat seekers are not working <laughs> oh it's a lizard that's why yeah i would think that you know the military would be a bit more competent than that and you could tell that there's a bit of that you know you can kind of feel when a movie hasn't done their proper research in terms of what would the uh. military do and this is one of those movies sure it's super fun not saying it's not it's a fun yeah film. it's fun it's one of those films where you should you should really just not think too hard about it yes so i'm not i'm not yes. gonna be super harsh about it but there's a few moments here where i was like okay i mean godzilla is on you know behind the cab and it's just like on their asses for like a solid three minutes and then when it finally gets to them it just kind of nudges them to the side and it's like it's like what do you <laughs> what what do you mean like meanwhile in the first act he's just stepping on people like left and right no problem right 
One skill that I feel like is important to cultivate is the ability to just kind of turn off the cynical side of your brain. That's like, well, how do they do that? Well, but how does that yeah. work? Even though it's it can be funny sometimes, but to a degree, because otherwise it can also kind of suck the fun out of everything. Yeah, of course. You know, the there are certain movies where you just gotta kind of turn your brain off a little bit or just like, you know, just mute that intelligence just a little bit and just kind of just enjoy the ride just and just augment your suspension of disbelief by yeah yeah by exactly three times over what you would normally <laughs> yeah have. just a little bit and just just like live in the world yeah. of that movie and just just enjoy the ride essentially i just felt like the first act was the strongest because tonally it was completely different from it really the rest. was wasn't it the first act it felt great i felt like there were a lot of nods to jaws yeah that was awesome you know like with the boat and then the three fishermen and then you know hiding the monster for long periods of time and i think that worked really well for the movie in the first act i think it really just built that the suspense yeah. i absolutely and, agree with you like i just couldn't wait to see godzilla and you know in its full glory and like the first reveal was awesome because a lot of times like if your design isn't quite right or if the pacing isn't quite right it can be really underwhelming you're just like ah Ah, that wasn't that great. But it wasn't like that. Like, I really liked the design. This was a really buff Godzilla for some reason. He yeah. was, like, hella shredded. I do agree with you. That, like, I wish the film would have been more of the first act, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. When I was locked in in the first act, I was like, oh, shit, this is really dope. And I expected yeah. the rest of the film to be that way. And it happens. You know, some films yeah. are. It's yeah, a choice. I mean, it happens. You know, <laughs> it, it it can happen. <laughs> yes. I don't know how else to put it. I mean, the first act can be very strong. And this, I think this is the first time that this happens to us in, in the channel. I do appreciate a lot of the elements in this film. I don't necessarily know if I would rewatch this one in particular. It's not one of my favorite films that we've watched for the channel. I thought Nick was very likable. I like to see him, you know, how passionate he was about these animals and how we had a hand in creating them as well. And now we mm -hmm. must take responsibility, you know, in taking them out, right? Out of these mm -hmm. populated areas that could produce more collateral damage, per se. Mm -hmm. So I liked his character quite a bit because he was like the only person in the entire film that felt some type of way about killing Godzilla. Like you could tell that he felt bad about it and almost responsible in a way for the things that went down. Yeah, I guess, I don't know, the third act. <laughs> act was all right i like the second act more than i like the third one so like in yes. reality this was like a big slope down for me i don't agree with the you know the whole killing godzilla thing man I, I watched the og i read the comics and like he's fun you didn't have to kill him off and i get it no. the whole egg that's left thing is to be like yeah he's dead but you know there's another one coming and it's like <laughs> oh god please don't just don't this <laughs> just is fine what is enough beat. enough you know locations <laughs> destroyed for now yes i don't um, think there's anything left in new york no the statue of liberty that's that's yeah, what that's, that's what's left that was probably what they were gonna go for in the sequel <laughs> yeah, they were like shit we will never get to queens <laughs> oh, the bronx no. And, nope. you know we, we had you know we had the statue of liberty lined up we had the yankee stadium and now we can't get to those yeah, you know i know it's horrible the agony of <laughs> missing out on the potential of yeah. that i don't know and i don't want to be rude but there was a lot of elements here where i'm like because I, and i know this came after it so i'm like did you guys just really copy and paste jurassic park in certain sequences because you know it worked then yeah and the thing is Jurassic Park has this, it has these elements that work and they work well because there's a sense of wonder that they build and the sense of danger, but danger in the adventure-y kind of way, not sheer danger. Whereas here, some of the danger almost came across as comical, even though I know for a fact that was not intentional. Like, you know, you can't have mm -hmm. the freaking dinosaurs just falling and being all <laughs> cute and then us have some sense of danger I after know. seeing that. Like, tonally confused is what I would say. Anyway, enough of random. I think I don't want to be super harsh on the film. Not what I was expecting. Not what I was expecting sounds about right for me as well. From like the poster and the cast, like Jean Renault is in this. I expected something that was a little bit more, I, I hate to use that word, but like a bit more serious or mm. grounded, I suppose. Yeah. With still the elements of the 90s, right? Which I, I mean, I'm a 90s kid, so I still love it. This one just had a few hiccups here and there that were just kind of... It was, was a little hard to ignore. Yeah, like, uh, like just, I've, uh, I've gotten, I've gotten pretty good at ignoring certain red flags in movies. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to enjoy my time. 
at, at which point does it become too many red flags? You know, and right. I, the first one for me was the, the, like you said, the tonal shift was so like such a left turn out of nowhere. Yeah. And then the pacing too. I wanted more science too. I think like, they should have scrapped the whole love interest. If, if I were to rewrite this, I would have yes. scrapped, scrapped, the, scrapped the whole love interest thing. We don't need it. You can keep no. Audrey as a reporter who's trying to get her job. That's enough. You don't have yeah. to connect these two by having a romantic connection. You could have just had oh. them interact because of the yeah. the nature of things. She's a reporter. She's reporting. That's all you had to yeah. do, right? And then just have her there bump into yeah. him. And then she's like the, you know, she's trying really hard to get this job. So she's putting herself right. She's that out ambitious of her way. person. Yeah, she's putting herself out in the, in the, you know, in the center of it all. So she's constantly in danger. Yeah. This guy's the one guy that knows things and boom, there you go. You have a relationship to build upon. It would have made her come across significantly less uh, manipulative and calculative. Yeah, I would have scrapped the whole love story situation. And like you said, I think that would have given us more time to really delve into the lore of this modernized Godzilla. In my opinion, that would have been way more interesting than focusing on them. How exactly did this Godzilla come to be, right? Because they Correct. had all these stories about, you know, the radioactivity and all the experiments that were conducted in the Pacific Ocean and all these things. And they showed us like this egg that was left behind very close to where the experiments were done. Mm -hmm. But how exactly did that work, right? I would like, even if it's fake science, at least some attempt at um, scientifying things. We want things to kind of make sense. We, we want more information. We want more lore, especially with a creature like Godzilla, where there's already a lot of lore, just, just give us a little bit more. Yeah, I know? think it's a missed opportunity. They had a, a, you know, two lines won't just cut it. You know, people are going into this to watch Godzilla. Yes, the destruction yeah. element and all that is cool. But, you know, in in this type of situation, at least me as a viewer, I want to know how does the thing survive like that? How long has it been alive? Where has it been hiding? Where did it come from? And they right. kind of explain these things, but very over the top to the point that it doesn't really matter for the main plot of the story. And they end up focusing on other things, which I feel should have been more secondary, right? Yeah. And it also kind of goes against the whole character of Nick because he's so curious and he's trying to figure yeah. things out. And he was studying the worms and all this stuff. Give me like a full on session where he has proper time to do the testing, right? Like how is it? Again, did it come from outer space? Has it always been here, but it just got reactivated by the nuclear testing that was conducted near it? Is is that why? It just kind of like it was almost like a defibrillator and brought it back to life. The whole asexual reproduction thing is so fascinating. I, I wanted to know more in, in general about how all of this works. So... Yeah, that's, that, that's, I think, like the major change that I would apply to this movie. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank yeah. you so much for watching this with us. We hope that you enjoyed. And as always, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. See ya.